This morning, the wait for a live kidney transplant can be a long one, but one Batavia man is staying positive that he'll soon be able to find a match. Daybreak's Alexandra Rios Melvia has his story as he continues to search for a second chance at life. There's a few things you should know about Jim Ruto. <laughs> Jim loves horses. He's not cooperating at all. And used to train them. Got hold of that coat. Many that were often abandoned. Yeah, they're all different. They're all different classes and everything. In hopes of giving them a second chance at life and on the racetrack. It's seven days a week, you know, long days, everything. And uh, you gotta love it to do it. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's how it works when you're into horses. Until one day, his life changed, forcing him to pull on the reins. Thought what I had was pneumonia, and I went to the emergency room the one night. And Back in 2012, Jim had trouble breathing and went to the hospital to get help. And that's when they did testing on me and found out. They said, geez, Jim, your, your kidneys are shut down. The blood pressure was through the ceiling. And I thought I was going to get an antibiotic or something and ended up on dialysis for eight years. And after eight long years of dialysis, Jim finally received the news he had been waiting for, a kidney. But then life took another turn. Fortunately, I found out that uh, the kidney they used wasn't quite sufficient. It was 40 to 50% scar tissue. Now Jim is looking for his second chance at life, just like these horses. His doctors don't know when the time will come, but Jim needs a kidney and needs it soon still alive but it's it's a terrible thing to have to go through uh, so many friends of mine from there like they would be there on friday you'd come in monday and they tell you they passed jim is now turning to fitness making sure that his health is at best when he finds a living donor. easy easy i've lost 53 pounds from the start i'm actually best shape i've been in many many years but the wait continues. Sometimes you got a horse with some problems and stuff. Everybody at a horse business would know they'll call them a war horse. And they win a lot of races, still with problems. They go, you help them out. And it's kind of the life I had to start living now. I've kind of turned into the war horse, you know. I got to look at it that way. Got some problems, but I need a little help, you know, <laughs> to keep going. So hopefully I can get to that. Jim is taking things day by day, waiting for the day that he can get back in the saddle and on the racetrack. Now, Jim needs a live kidney donation, and he needs it pretty soon. He is working with an organization called Kidneys for Communities to hopefully find a match. But to learn more about his story, or if you or someone you know would like to donate, I have a link with this story on our website. Melissa and Lauren, back to you. And those who give often receive more than the actual recipient of the organ. We hear time and time again. Alex, thank you for that story.